day, my dear students. So, ayan, I'm back with a new lesson for today. So, so for today's vlog, we're going to find the domain and range of a function. So, but before we... with that, we're going to illustrate and differentiate ano po ba ang pinagkaiba ng relation and function. It's not the type of relationship na meron kayo with your jowa or your partner. So, okay. So, a relation and function are correlated with each other. Okay. So, ano ba yung different ways to illustrate a relation? So, meron tayong tinatawag na mapping diagram. We also have table of values. We also have um, graphing, and we also have the um, rule of the equation. So when we talk about relation, it is relationships between set of values of ordered pairs. So see, for instance, we have here a mapping diagram. Okay. So we have here x and y, and we have here the values of x, the values of um, y. So, set of ordered pairs. So, this is a relation. So, meron tayong mga ordered pairs na 1 and 1, 2 and 1, 2 and 0. We have also 3 and 1. So, pwede rin natin siyang ilipat into a table of values, yung tulad ng ginagawa natin dati. Then, pwede na natin siyang graph. Pwede natin itong i-graph. Okay, so we have here 1 and 1. We also have 2 and 1. We also have 2 and 0. We also have 3 and 1. Okay, so ito na yung nabuo nating um, points doon sa graph. Okay, so how about function? Ano ba pinagkaiba sa rin ng function sa relation? So, i-clean lang natin ito kasi napaka-basic naman ito. Tatandaan nyo lang na hindi lahat ng relation is function. Naitikihan po. In what case, hindi magiging function ng isang relation? Okay, so bibigyan ko kayo ng examples ng mga different correspondence na sinasabi dito sa lesson natin about relation. So, okay, my dear students, to further understand relation and function, I have here the three types of correspondence. So, ano ba ang pinagkaiba nitong tatlong ito? Isa-isahin natin. So, pag sinabi natin 1 to 1, kaya nga siya 1 to 1, ibig sabihin, yung elements sa x or x values and y values are all unique. Naintindihan, walang naulit na ordered pairs or values. Unique yung kanilang mga pairs. Kung sa relasyon naman sa um, real life, itong one to one, ano siya? Um, stick to one, loyal, diba? So, na all one to one correspondence ang relationship, diba? So, dito tayo sa one to many. So, one to many, from the word itself, one to many, meaning to say, kung yung element natin sa A ay connected or may relationship sa two or more element doon sa other um, values natin or the, sa, sa Y values natin. So, parang sa totoong buhay naman, itong relationship na ito ay tinatawag natin, ito yung masyadong toxic na relationship. Why? Ito yung hindi contento sa isa. One to many. Parang isang tao, pero madami siyang mga kabit-kabit-kabit. Diba? So, bad yun. While the other one, or the last one, is the many to one, is the opposite naman ng one to many. Ibig sabihin, yung two or more elements sa X ay connected naman sa isang element sa so y. So, kung makikita nyo dito, yung 1 and 3 na x values ay connected sila sa only one value which is positive 2. So, yun ang kabaliktaran ng many to 1. 
maintindihan. Parang halos ano lang naman sila. Nagkabaliktara lang sila ng um, position. Pero para sila sa totoong buhay, sila yung madaming karelasyon. So, dapat dito tayo sa one-to-one. -one. Okay. So, so much for that. So, sir, alin po ba dito ang relation? Alin dito ang function? So, itong lahat ng ito, yan po ay all types of relation. Relation, relation, relation. Okay. Pero meron po dyan, hindi function. So, kailan ba masasabi na ang relation is a function? Kasi nga, not all relation um, is, not all relations are function. So, pag sinabi natin function, meaning to say, sa pinakamadaling definition na lang, pag sinabi natin function, meron lang po tayong unique set of values sa set A o sa first element. Sa cases nito, dapat meron lang tayong isang value o walang mauulit na value sa x values. Like this one, the one to one, wala siyang naulit na x values. So this is a function. One to many, meron siyang naulit. So this is not a function, only relation. Many to one, so wala din na ulit na x, na x value. So this is function. So, so paano natin may apply sa real life itong relation and function? Most especially the function. Ano ba yung mga makikita natin sa real life situation na application of function? Madami po. Halimbawa, um, price of a pizza and size. So meron tayong dalawang relation. So, the price and the size of a pizza. So, 100 pesos, syempre, the higher the price, the bigger the size. So, kung 100 pesos yung large, hindi naman pwedeng 100 pesos ulit yung medium. Diba? Saan kayo nakakita ng tindahan na sa worth 100 pesos, yun na ang presyo ng dalawang size. The large and the medium. Yung kasi, ang pinapakita dun ay function. So, aside from that, another example din ng function sa real life situation is, halimbawa, sa mga gumagamit ng mga sakyan. So, yung kilometro o yung distansya na maaabot mo ay depende sa bilis ng takbo ng iyong sasakyan. Hindi naman pwedeng tumatakbo kayo. Kunyari, may dalawang sasakyan, parehas ang takbo, tapos magkaiba ng inabot ng distansya. So, hindi naman yan pwedeng mangyari. Meaning to say, yung mas mabilis ang takbo, mas malayo yung maaabot na distansya. Yung mas mabagal, mas lower din yung um, distance na ma-occupy. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng function. Meaning to say, may unique values doon sa first set of element natin. Walang mauulit na domain. So, yan. Sinabi ko na sa inyo. So, sir, Ano po ba ang domain tsaka range? So, ito ang tinatawag natin. Ang domain, um, these are the values of x or the abscissa or the x coordinates. Yung first um, element sa ordered pair. Ang range naman, ito yung values ng y. So, sa case nito, ang domain natin, ang domain natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, the range, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ganoon lang po kadali ang ating lesson for today, which is finding the domain and range. Let's elaborate now the um, domain and range. Paano ba maghanap, sir, ng domain at range? Okay. So, my dear students, napakadaling hanapin ng domain and range, most especially pag meron tayong illustrations. Like the mapping diagram, kasi yung nasa first um, element, lahat yung domain. While the second element, lahat naman yung values doon ay, na, ay tinatawag natin range. Pag meron tayong graph, napakadali. Hanapin lang natin yung coordinates. Yung x values, yun ating magiging domain. While the y values, yun ang magiging natin range. So, paano natin hahanapin ang domain or range if ang given natin ay in a form of equation? Say for instance, so, say for instance, we're going to find the uh, domain of function of x is equal to 3x. So, to find, ang gagawin lang naman natin is, first, mag-isip ka ng value na pwedeng mag maging undefined yung ating equation or maging imaginary. Kung ba ang value na pag binalit natin sa x or the domain magiging undefined? 
Okay, very good. So, wala. So, meaning to say, ang ating domain, so, ganito po ang pagsusulat. Okay. So, paano ba ito sir binabasa? So, since wala tayong maisip na value or wala naman talagang value na pwedeng mag ging undefined itong equation na ito, ibig sabihin, lahat ng real numbers ay domain set. Yes. So, how are we going to read this one? So, the domain is the set of all real numbers. So, ito po yung ating um, symbol or sign ng real numbers. So, the domain is the set of all real numbers. So, pag range naman, papalitan natin yung x, x ng y, y. So, another example. Function of x is equal to x squared. So, meron bang value na pag pinalitan natin yung domain ay pwedeng maging undefined or imaginary yung ating given? Okay, so wala din. Kahit ano yung palit natin sa x, hindi siya magiging undefined. So, meaning to say, same. The domain is the set of all real numbers. Another example. Okay. So, we have here function of x is equal to the square root of x minus 2. So, meron bang value na pag pinalitan natin um, yung x ay magiging siyang undefined? Okay. Kanilan magiging undefined ang number yung nasa loob ng square root. Okay, very good. Pag naging negative. At kailan siya magiging imaginary? Okay, pag naging zero. So, ano ang pwede natin ipalit sa um, x para magiging siyang zero? Okay, of course, 2. So, 2 minus 2, that is zero. Ano ang ipapalit mo sa x para siya maging negative ang sagot? Okay, negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, that is negative 3. So, hindi pwede maging negative yung nasa loob kasi magiging undefined. Meaning to say, ang kailangan nating set of numbers or real numbers are equal to 0 and greater than 0. So, say for instance, this one. Yeah. So, dapat yung x minus 2 natin ay mag-equal to 0 or greater than Zero. Hindi siya maging negative kasi nasa loob siya ng square root kasi magiging undefined. Okay, so x greater than, lipat natin from negative magiging positive. So therefore, ang domain natin, ang magiging sagot natin ngayon, the domain is any set of values greater than or equal to 2. Yan. So, magiging siyang greater than or equal to 2. 2 minus 2, pataas. 3 minus 1 is 1, positive 1. So, wala tayong magiging undefined. Okay. Last problem. Kung value ng x na magiging undefined yung ating equation. Okay. Remember that this is division. So, sa division, ang denominator ay hindi pwede maging 0. Kasi magiging siyang undefined or math error pag tinayot nyo sa calculator. Meaning to say, ang value natin ng x ay all real numbers except 0. Okay, very good. Kasi hindi dapat kasama yung 0. Kasi magiging undefined. So, meaning to say, the domain is the set of all real numbers provided that x is not equal to 0. So, lahat ng real numbers except um, 0. So, ganun lang kadali may dear students ang paghahanap ng domain at range. So, walang problema pag merong illustration, di ba? Tulad sinasabi ko, pag may table of values, pag may graph, so walang problema. Kasi so, madaling hanapin yung ating domain in range. Um, ito naman, ganito ang given natin in a form of an equation. So, mag-think lang tayo ng numero na that would make the equation undefined. Pag nag Pag yung value yun, magiging undefined ang ating equation, so dapat hindi yun part of the set of domains natin. So, naitindihan? Questions and clarifications? Hmm. Okay, so one last thing pala. 
I am just going to discuss the vertical test. Yung vertical test ay ginagamit din para malaman kung ang graph ay relation or function. Say for instance, we have here a graph. We have here points. We have here points. We have here points. So, vertical test. Maglalagay ka dito ng vertical. Pag one point lang yung kanyang nadaanan, meaning to say, function siya. Pero pag two points yung kanyang nadaanan, meaning to say, relation siya. Hindi siya function. Why? Dalawa ang kanyang x. Diba dapat? Isa lang. Okay. So, I hope medyo malino na sa inyo. Kung medyo malago pa naman, so, balikan nyo lang yung lessons para mas maintindihan nyo. So, thank you so much for watching. So, I hope meron kayong natutunan. See you next vlog.